got out of the timber. <coughs> yeah, you could probably just bound down through here oh, several yeah. times, couldn't you? Oh yeah, that's what we. That's what I usually do. I, if I don't do good on this side, I'm, I'll march on the other side. The other side's not as much timber. It's small groups of timber where sometimes they'll lay in that before they'll lay in this big long stuff. Six spots marked down through here. I'll check that soon or later. Before. A lot of times I just do what we're doing. Right. Take it easy and kind of just look. That seems to be when we're most successful, don't it? Yeah. Instead of just hitting spots, just kind of paying attention to the fish finder. Right. Okay. The way I usually cut my bait depends on where I'm fishing. But I usually cut the head and then I cut a middle spot. And that's just a chunk cut bait. Some people, you know, they'll fillet it down or different directions, but that's as simple as you can get right there. And when I hook it, <coughs> on the head part, I just uh, take it from the bottom, bring the hook right through. That keeps it from rehooking itself if fish would happen to grab it. Yeah, that's what a lot of, a lot of folks don't don't understand if it hooks itself they've got to hook this bait in a way that it will not go back and hook itself exactly and uh, that's uh, I've missed a lot of fish before I learned that trick. <laughs> I'm sure you did too. Yeah, I did on this center I tried to bring it up towards the dorsal as far as I can so more of that hook is showing you want the hook showing you don't want to bring it clear down here and the hook won't penetrate through the fish quite as good. And that's, that's a that's a 40 pounder right there, isn't it? Yep, that's it. That's a 40 pound fish. You want this one in the middle? Yeah, just kind of directly behind the boat. Picture. Yeah, he's a... He wasn't big enough for a picture. Yeah. <laughs> 